All right, starting off, um, who you guys have? What you got? You got any ideas about this? So I'm pull up. I'm gonna pull up their teams real quick. Uh, Drought is working with Deancey, Cinderachi, Electivire, Porygon Two, Volbeat, Reggie, Steel, Empoleon, Sneasel. Not bad. And then Ben's got the Mythic team. Darkrai, Shaman Sky, Meloetta, Dermantan G, Repidash, Galarian, Celebi, Flag on a Magmortar. I now, haven't seen... played I haven't played Drought's team. Mm-hmm. Um but I mean to play in Zilius' team, it was definitely difficult to prep for. Sure. I don't know how well the Deontay will be able to hold its own, though. Um, I mean, not a lot of steel types. I'm sure some of these Pokemon get. I mean, I assume Tenji maybe gets Iron Head or like Iron Tail, as most physical attackers get access to that move. Right. Um, it it has pretty high defense. Dancy does. It's got it's got high defense and special defense. Yeah, it's just bulky all around, right? Yeah. Um, one of the main things is I never realized how fast Darkrai actually is, but I believe it's based like 125. I believe you're right. Yes. Um, yeah, it's 125. I've been curious why Ben just hasn't just been like, all right, every game I do Magmar, um, Mach Punch into Darkrai, and then kill it's everything. Proc weakness policy. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, against against uh, Drown's team, that, that definitely seems like a good option to me. Uh, mm-hmm. He doesn't have a lot of Pokemon that can outspeed. In fact, he has no Pokemon that can outspeed Darkrai. So I think Darkrai can really run amok here. Now, Drown's been doing some interesting strats, and it's been working out for him. Um, mm-hmm. I think a few weeks ago, he had a Cinderace that he was running as a support mod. And right. it was it was scarfed with coaching. Which it was scarfed like with coaching, which is wild. A wild idea. Yeah. Um, we'll see if he brings something like that, or if he plays a little bit more uh, normal for what his team is. And his team's been doing great. Yeah. You know, what What are our records? I think Drown is. Uh, I think he is um, four or uh, three and one. And Exolus is two and two. Yeah. Let's see. So we've got we've what have we left behind? We've left behind Reggie Steel for Drown, and we've left behind Empoleon, and then for Zelius we've left behind Celebi. Celebi. We have left behind. Um. Another Pokemon. Darkrai. Wait. We've left Dark behind Darkrai. Is not here. Ooh. What on earth is this? Okay. So, real quick, I see uh-huh. Exclus has Meletta, but it's in the Ariel form, or Area form. Right, pirouette, um, yeah. Is, is, that, is that just a visual thing that they're showing here? Because it, it shouldn't be no, in that No, no. Um, wait, hold on. For what I understand, you have to use Relic Song to change to it. To transform it, yeah. Yeah. But well, I guess we can just move on past that. Uh, what are we expecting as leads? Man, that's a great question. Um, I would honestly kind of predict Shaman and maybe Flygon. Try to use yeah, Shaman to get Flygon a tailwind. tailwind. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Flygon seems to match up pretty well into this team. Deancey's really slow. Um, Max Quake is going to do a lot of damage to Deancey if he tries to lead it in order to counter with Fairy, right? Uh, um, we see a Rapidash. I don't know if that Rapidash has made an appearance yet this season. Do we think what, he may have some really I- interesting stat uh, strap for that Rapidash? I, I don't really know what it's capable of with this team. I'm sure. I'm sure Ben has something in mind. He's a pretty competent player and a decent strategist as well. And uh, has has uh, Drought brought Sneasel to a single game yet? This is. I also do not think he has brought Sneasel. Um, Having Sneasel and Illumise leads me to believe that um, one of them doesn't have Focus Sash, which is a little surprising to me. 
Maybe, maybe just... Drought is running the focus band, and he's a lucky boy. We we <laughs> know about Drought and his hacks that he yes, runs on. on this. He doesn't. He does not miss. I would assume Volby might be. Um, they can run Eevee Light, right? Nope. Oh dang it! No, it can't because it does not evolution. Um, try its own thing. I believe Eevee Light is definitely on Porygon too. Yeah. Yeah. So would he no. be more likely to run Sash on Volby? Or Sneasel? I would think Volby, just because Sneasel's so fast that I can at least get something done before it goes down. If you're if you're drought right now, I think you're looking across and you're saying, Hey, he's got a fast team. Yeah. I got Porygon too. I'm gonna trick you, room. You know he has Scarf on Dramanitan. Yep. Probably. So if you're trying to get that trick room up. Sorry, your team is not what I expected at all. <laughs> oh boy. If you're if you're trying to get that trick room up, I mean I imagine maybe Dancy is by its side or Electivire that's pretty slow is by its side. Here we go. Okay. I'm sure. confused on how it's in this form. Uh, it looks like uh, that form validated on National Dex AG. I should have really looked into this last season. Yeah, we I spent a lot of time trying to get it into this form. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right, I'm. Um, so we have two physical yeah. attackers on the field here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, this is going to be earthquake. Because of the air balloon, almost assuredly, right? Uh, that's a good point. Earthquake, try to get rid of Electivire. Yeah, right. And Lumas, I know uh, Maletta learns some flying moves, so if he has a flying move available, this could be, this could be quite deadly for, for Drought this, this turn one. We will see... Um... Illumize with Prankster, obviously. Um, it gets access to screens. It's um, not Illumize, it's Volby. That's Volby? What's the difference? They're the Vol same. They're, the, They're same. the same Pokemon. I have Illumize. Oh, I'm sorry. My fault. So are we looking for a screen, or are we looking for Tailwind right here? That's a great yeah. question. I, you know, I do not know. Um, Tailwind it, seems good here, um, but if this thing is scarfed... He's not uh, going to They actually share... Speed tier, what do you know? That is a Dynamax Meloetta. Alright, Tailwind. Uh, does that kill? It yeah, does. Wow. All right. That's pretty big. Airstream, sure. Sash. Yep, sash. yep, there we found the Sash. Got the Tailwind up. This is pretty big for uh uh for Drought. Yeah, now, getting that Dermanitan gone. We need to see if this Electivire outspeeds. Uh, Maletta with plus one speed. Uh, with max speed investment, it should go up to 320. That would be just about 300. Um, but uh, Wait, I'm not sure but that you know follow me is coming. Yeah, follow me is definitely coming. We know it, yeah. So I guess what is Illumize doing here? Is Illumize putting up a screen? I would think that it is putting up a screen. Oh, there's Mach Punch. Illumize is not doing anything. Outspeeds. That did not do all that much. Let's see who's going for. Oh, oh just getting, goodness. Picking up another kill. Okay. Now, Drought still has a speed boost. Oh, do you think the he's perfect, The perfect download. He got that boost. Yeah, that download is really nice. Do you think he sets Trick Room in Tailwind for Boy. Diancie to come in? I... If I, I don't know. The way that I'm, I would see it is protect Porygon this turn, uh, Trick Room next turn. I'm curious so, if Dron expected Flygon to come at all this this game, and with that, he may not have a uh, ice move. 
Um, Porygon, I know, gets access to Ice Beam. I do not yeah. know if he brought it this week. Um, you might be completely right about that. Um, then again, Ice Beam, is also, Ice Beam also hits Shaman Sky for quad, so um, I, I couldn't see it outside the realm of possibility that he has Ice Beam on this thing. Yeah, but is this Meletta just Okoing? Um, it's, it's Eevee Light Porygon 2, probably with uh, I would, would has guess. about 120, 130 attack plus one Dynamax. Um, if he uses Max Knuckle, that's only a base 90 move. Um, but it definitely, it definitely could be in range. Um, I would imagine that this Porygon is at least max HP. Um, and with Eevee Light, you know, it's it's super bulky. <laughs> Looks like we're deep into a, a good old Drought Think. Yeah, Drought loves to enter the Think Tank from time to time. There's the Knuckle. Ooh, it does oh. not kill. And there's a, a Counter Knuckle. Okay, okay. Try Attack. Now let's see if Griff has... Uh... Protect on both. Protect on Electivire. I think either way. Uh, he'll kill off. I think he'll kill off the Mellow well, and let, and let he, Electivire die. Right. Yeah, I think this is a pretty you know. Go for uh, go for Meletta with Electivire and use Porygon to hit Flygon as it as it comes up. No. Let it hit Trick, Trick Room. Trick Room Trick Room's an option too, but depends on what move. Tailwind's coming out. If he kills Electivire, you get a free switch in. If he brought Deontay in this four. Yeah, a big thing. I mean, we don't know who is who is behind. Uh this is definitely an interesting position. Um, I'm curious to know what other moves Yoshi has on it. Flygon, that is, anyways. Yeah, uh, Dig is surprising. Uh, yeah, I would have that, almost 100% of the time earthquake, thought it would be right? Earthquake. Although, um, Air Balloons popped, so maybe he has both this week. For whatever situation that he would need it in. It's It sucks that um, Flygon's second best physical ground type move seems to be dig because if it was if it was high horsepower i can't imagine him not bringing that yep and we're sitting in the think tank again i wonder who's thinking i mean if you're if you're uh x-list and you know that you have protect on meletta this is our super easy protect and yeah. It is, but does he have protect on it? In the worst well, uh, case scenario for Zellius, um, I think protecting with Meloetta could be really bad because if Porgles has Ice Beam and Electivire protects as well, then he could one tap he could one tap Flygon with Ice Beam. Uh, it's not out of the realm of possibility for Flygon to have uh, whatever the Ice Berry is. Yachi Berry. Um, just because it's quad weak, and you know anybody with anybody with half a brain is going to want to hit Flygon with an Ice type move. Yeah, but we didn't see that last last turn. Oh, no protect on either side. Okay, this dig it's going to hurt. Yeah, that is going to kill. We are going to see if Diancy can survive a Flygon onslaught without Trick Room and with and Flygon they... having a uh, attack boost. Yep. This so... and it's a, it's one v one, so Earthquake is no longer scaled down to doubles. It is single target damage. So we think at another dig here. I don't know. Move. Iron oh. Tail. Oh my goodness! I believe Iron Tail to be a seventy-five percent accurate move, and you risked it all I for it. I did not see that coming. That was crazy! Wow. Good prep from Ben going into this. Iron battle. Tail is a seventy-five percent accuracy. 
That is insane. I cannot believe he wouldn't go for a stab earthquake with an attack boost. Uh, Drow just posted his uh, whole strategy. <laughs> Did he? Enter the... Uh... <laughs> Did he post his whole team? <laughs> and, del- and deleted it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. So if Ben was paying attention there, he could have seen what he had on Deontay. All right, game two. So, you know, Drought is down a game. Um... Clearly, Exilus has a counter for Deancey. Do you expect him to try to trick room and do something a little different? Uh, you know, honestly, I think he might even go for a Cinderace lead, especially if Darmanitan is coming. Okay. Um, I would I would think that he would either lead it with Tailwind or with Sneasel for Fake Out. Um, Trick Room is definitely a viable option here. I mean, against the lead that we saw last time, uh, it would be difficult to get Trick Room up since both Darmanitan and Relic Meloetta can just double into Porygon with a fighting type move. This is tough. This is tough from uh from Drown's position. Not sure what he uh not sure what he plans on doing. I'm you know, excited to see though. Yeah, we'll be it'll be curious if he has any ice moves. Um Sneasel, of course, may have something. Uh, but I don't know if you want to have Sneasel out there as a attacking mon. For sure. I mean, you know, triple axel is gonna do a lot of damage from anything. Yeah, it it may just be there for support and may not even have triple axel though. I, I we haven't really seen Sneasel used in this league before. Uh you mentioned it has fake out. Um do you have any other other insight into what moves it could have? Um it's a dark type. I would assume that it gets taunt. Uh triple axel, obviously Weavile gets it. I don't know why Sneasel wouldn't. Um besides that though. Um, I believe Snatch is a dark type move, so maybe he could be running Snatch Sneasel for. I don't know what he would be running it for since he can set his own tailwind, but maybe for screens. Yeah, we um, have someone uh, here who has some experience with Snatch. Uh, <laughs> Colton, you want to fill us in? Let's see here. My first experience with it, I honestly did not know what the hell was going on. Um, I did not actually know enough about. Pokemon in general to know that Snatch was a thing. Yeah, I, I had no idea what it was either. I don't think we had seen Snatch used until and last then, season. And then came last week versus Zelius. Yeah, that yeah, that we see that, that Cinderace coming impressive. out here. So if you're seeing that Cinderace coming out here, the balloon's still here. So this earthquake is still gonna hit hard. Right. Um, so I feel like Drought is still locked into having to Tailwind, just yeah, so that he I, can take out Darmanitan. Uh, almost, almost 100% of the time, he has to swing into, into Darmanitan here, unless he reads the most vile U-turn of all time. Um, do you think Meloetta is still going to be his Dynamax option? It it's such a good Dynamax op- option because we know he has a max airstream, and that's gonna ca- that's gonna help counteract any sort of tailwind. Yeah, but I don't. Unless he can get that max airstream on top of the scar from Darmanitan, he's still not going to outspeed a Cinderace with tailwind. Yeah, Darmanitan's kind of dead. I, 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 other than just. You know, we could see, I think, you know, dropping it out and bringing in Magmar is probably a really good play here. Right, yeah, that that would be a solid, solid read on Ben's part. Tailwind is definitely a little scary from Illumise. 
Yeah, and that that read is a lot easier to to see compared to the max knuckle that we got from Electivire last time. Right. So, does Drought counter read and say, "I'm going after your Meletta because I think you're going to bring in Magma"? Uh, I think Tailwind goes up here 100 percent of the time. 100 percent of the time. Um. He very well could go after Meloetta. I don't ever see Darmanitan one-shotting a Dynamax Cinderace. Um, you know, that is assuming that Cinderace Dynamax is turn one. And, and we, we see, are in the uh, turn see, one think tank. Okay, see, what? He Skinner has joined the chat. Um, yeah, he was out driving, I believe. So he yeah, must have it, parked and I think he's ne- neglecting his family and the movie that they were <laughs> supposed to see today to join into Pokemon. And that's a classic um, D Skinner move. I mean, if nothing else, he's known for neglecting that family <laughs> just for Pokemon. So, um, may- maybe he's watching it with his two kids. That is that's, that's very a true. He uh, he often talks about getting his his two lovely children into Pokemon, which I think is molding great. them into Pokemon into masters. So maybe that's what he's doing. Either way, I think we all or can agree like, that yes. that the wife is being ignored completely. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um. Okay. So, do you think that he will tailwind and use Cinderace? To kill off Meloetta. Can that's an option. So, uh, I know Cinderace gets access access to high jump kick, um, which yeah. is super effective. I Try don't to get know. rid of Meloetta and let Darmanitan kill something off. I yeah. can't imagine that a Cinderace high jump kick, even Dynamax, will kill a Dynamax Meloetta. It would Interesting. Be he goes for the oh the airstream. The oh, airstream. Uh, airstream it. kills and lunge. Oh goodness gracious! Wow. Oh wow. That is crazy. Drought going for the lunge. Lunge did Compared almost fifty percent to that Darmanitan <laughs> too. That now, has to have some attack investment. Goodness gracious. Now, I think, did we just learn that Volbeat is faster than Darmanitan? Darmanitan is not scarfed and does not seem to be max speed either. That is definitely interesting. Or I guess I guess the the speed boost boosted it over, but it's still it's not scarfed. I think we just learned that. Yeah, shouldn't a Scarf or Mantan be faster than Cinderace? Uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely yeah, should. It yeah. shouldn't be close either. And definitely faster oh. than Volbeat, even at plus one. Right. Yeah, it should have outsped Volbeat naturally, actually. Uh, so so he has plus no one. Yeah. Are we seeing a bandit Darmanitan here? So he's Let's see, a so critical... He's Uh, it's a good thing that it didn't crit um, Cinderace because that could have been a lot of damage. A big, I mean, I, I we're guaranteed to see a follow me here, right? And he's got to kill this Magmar, and he's he doesn't. This is this rock slide's going to kill both. He, wow, I'm oh flame body. Let's see how he rolls. Wow, wow, barely living. That is crazy. All right, so he knows another follow me's coming. Yep. So this last turn, Max Air did fifty five percent. Porygon did not get the good roll of getting a special attack boost. He got a physical attack boost. I think almost one hundred percent of the time he's letting Cinderace go down here, taking out Magmar and clicking Trick Room. Uh, I'm not sure what his last Pokemon is, but if, if Porygon 2 is here, then I, I I would put some money on it being Diancie again. Um, and with a slower Diancie, I think you have a lot better chance against that Flygon uh, under Trick Room. 
Oh, oh I Mark forgot punch. about mock punch. We yep, we did. This diamond storm is going to hit like a truck. With a defense hey, boost. Trick room. With a All defense right. boost, I don't know if Iron Tail is going to kill. We will see if he gets it. Is he going for the the diamond? Is it going to kill? Um, uh, diamond storm will. Uber? It will kill both. I don't think it will be close. Is diamond diamond storm a spread move? It is a spread move. Wow. It will kill both is what you're saying. That's Yeah, I think that's about all you could have done there. Yeah. Wow. Defense boost? No defense boost. No def it's fifty percent, correct? It is fifty percent on hit. I don't think it's on it's both big. hits. I think it's just if it hits at all, it is a fifty percent. So we probably know Oh, I forgot about Dynamax still being a... Wow, that did a lot of damage. And there's the oh, ice beam. The ice beam. Oh, oh. So, game one. Game three coming. Game three coming. Game one, Drought said, even though I have an ice beam on my Porygon 2, I'm not going to use it, and I'm going to double in to Meleta with tri -Attack. That is fascinating that he didn't even try that game one, and he saw that dig. I just, uh, I think that he thought that he would be able to live an earthquake from Flygon, but that Iron Tail quad super effective came through. Yeah. 75% chance, a little bit of a gamble, but it definitely paid off game one. We will see what they lead going into game three. This is a little bit of an exciting one, boys. We have two, you know, veteran players. Um, ben has been in, I believe, every single season. Exilus has been at every season, and Drowned has only missed a few. Yeah, he's been in there since at least season six. He's got a good ten seasons under his belt. Yeah, and here we go, going into game three. So, do we expect to see something different from Exilus this this game? I would assume. Um, I am very curious to know what this rapid ash is doing here fascinating that rapid ash is here instead of dark cry yeah that's a that's a mind boggler for me considering how good of a pokemon dark cry is and you had said before dark cry outspeeds everything literally everything on his team uh and he always runs it with weakness policy mm -hmm. i just don't i just don't know why he wouldn't have brought it well we'll have to ask that you know post game oh absolutely And it's also interesting that you would you would imagine that Rapidash is here for a purpose. I wonder what that purpose could be. Yeah, I I am I'm you know, very curious to know what he brought on that thing to help out this team. Empoleon and Reggie Steel are here, which is what would counter Rapidash the most, and yet oh, we still yeah. haven't seen Rapidash. Absolutely. Um it's a it's a little bit of a tough bring to bring uh Reggie Steel in particular. Just because Darmanitan gets close combat, you've got a fighting type Meloetta. Magmar is even hitting it. Um, and Flygon as well. Um, and Polion at least can hit Magmar for super effective with water. Um, but yeah, I, that's definitely an interesting bring. I guess he made the read that neither Steel type would be coming against this team, which is incredible. That's a really good prep. So do you think he'll lead with Shaman this time? We could definitely see a Shaman. Um, Shaman, uh, but, Shaman but you're win. imagining the Drought is probably bringing out the same same squad that just won him the last game. Yeah, Cinderace definitely leads very well into, into Shaman Sky. Yep. And there's not many people, not many mod on, on Exilus' team that Cinderace doesn't do well against. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Flygon may be the only one that I think would have a good matchup into it. Um, Max Dragon being able to uh, lower attack at least. Um, although you're you're a little afraid to max Quake into it because it can it can max Airstream changes type to flying at any time. 
Mm -hmm. And we just saw Drought brought the lunge on Illumis to drop attack. This is exciting. Very hype game three. You see the uh the team skull members are are quite hype in chat, Ultra Stream. Giving yes. some support. They often uh they often hop into their teammates' games with a with a quick team skull get boned bone zone. Which is a good chant. I like that chant. I think it's good. So a question for you two. Are are you all imagining um a bone zone coming coming along for a drought or I don't know what the team berserkers. I mean, out. I definitely think uh, I definitely think Drought went berserk game two. Uh, so we'll see if he can keep that same energy going into this one. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited for a good match. This is really interesting. They obviously both players have done a ton of prep for each other. And and though this is, you know, an early game in the season, it feels like an important matchup, you know, going forward. <laughs> uh, if, drown <laughs> in the think tank again. If Exilus drops to two and three, that's dropping him into the bottom quarter of the league. Yeah, uh, he'll have to. I mean, he'll have to really turn it around in the latter half of the season in order to not have to play through the plans to even get to playoffs. Last season, we had everyone who was seven and three make it, and then only one, two people who were six and four make the playoffs and not have to go through the play in. And we have added players since then, so it's even going to be more difficult. Yeah, we even we even had a, a couple of six and four players not make it through the play ins that had to play through them. Yeah, quite a few. This is uh we're uh, we're really uh this is week five. Uh after this week caps off, we'll be halfway and we'll really probably start to be able to shake out how, how the playoff bracket is gonna be seated at that point. See who the strongest teams are. Definitely. I'd I'd kind of willing to bet as Drought goes into the tank. I just get the feeling that Porygon Two is going to make an appearance <laughs> off uh, the rip. Oh, off rip! Two. You think he's going to lead it? Yeah, I'm just Porygon Two is pretty nice. This is a little tough for Ben, you know. Uh, it's a little hard to lead Meloetta now that you know that a max airstream from Cinderace is one tapping it. Yeah, you could definitely see that staying home, but I mean, you also know that that Ice Beam was waiting for Shaman and Flygon, so both of those are a little hard to bring to it. Drought seems to be in the driver's seat. Let's see what happens here. Got okay. Oh wow! Oh wow! Ah, oh, you know, uh, I do what I can. This is very interesting. All right, well, we're going to see a follow me, and we're going to see a rock slide. Possibly. Is it a rock slide or an earthquake? You think he's going to earthquake and just get rid of his Darmanitan? Uh, his, uh, his Magmar? Magmar? Yeah. Uh, knowing Ben, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he specifically EV'd this Magmar to live one earthquake. Um, it is Eviolite, so it's a little bulky. Um, and we know that that uh, a dig is doing a ton of damage. So let alone a choice banded earthquake from Dermanitan G. Yeah, but we also know it's not very fast. Uh, I think, especially Electivire is going to outspeed. Outspeed. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, they, sh going down, they share probably. the same speed tier. Um, we yep. will see what happens here. I would not be surprised to see a uh, a trick room come out of portals here. 
Have we seen a single protect in any of these games? Oh, let me think about it. We definitely didn't see one game two. No. Uh, in fact, uh, game one, we thought we were going to see a protect from Meloetta and or Electivire, and neither of them protected. Yeah. These guys are I, swinging for the fences. They, they are not, not holding back at all. No, no defense, all offense. So we know Electivire can get dig. I wonder if, if Drowned has noticed that Darmanitan is not scarfed and that it is possibly banded. Um yeah, I wouldn't surprise I wouldn't be surprised if he if he knows that Electivire is outspeeding here. Um It's just a little tough. Uh I believe Magmar can run Will O Wisp, which would greatly hinder Electivire's game plan. This is true. Yeah, it, it's it's scary to even think about attempting to Dynamax when you know that the the mana across from you has a band and guerrilla tactics in Earthquake. Yeah, it's uh, it could be doing a ton. And like you mentioned before, Exilus is the type of player to kill his own mon to so that he can kill a couple of the other guys mon. Oh, absolutely. He's a positional player through and through. He uh, he does what he needs to get done in order to win, which is uh, he plays this this doubles very smartly. And we see a switch out. There's that earthquake. Let's see how much it does. It, it one tapped. One taps a Dynamax. And there huge. goes Dynamax. Oh, goodness. All right. So we are. I mean, Drought is not in a lost hope sort of position. I mean, you pull a Deancey out here, Diamond Storm may kill Darmanitan, and then an Ice Beam can kill Flygon. This, I mean... It's not, not... Yeah, it's a good position. It's not bad at all. That being said, a Dynamaxed Darmanitan is a little spooky. Uh, he will lose Choice Band, but I don't know if a Diamond Storm will kill. <laughs> now, he'll also use lose Gorilla Tactics, will he not? Or does that uh, stay? No, I believe Gorilla Tactics stays. Jeez. Drown in the thing. I I don't... What else could be coming out here other than Deancey? Oh, unless it, he doesn't it bring Deancey. Be, it has to be Deancey. If he trick room, there's no, there's no possible way to win without Deancey coming out. Uh, it's a little spooky to bring in Deancey versus this Flygon because uh, you know that that Iron Tail is killing. Um, especially this Flygon can Dynamax now. Um, may be able to live an Ice Beam uh, play rough combo. And uh, Max Steel Spike is doing even more. We we haven't seen a Protect. No. But if you bring a Deancey and you Protect and Exilus knows that the Deancey is the only thing, you know, that's going to be hurt and stuff. You could get in a free Porygon 2 Ice Beam. Yeah, this is going to be a really interesting turn. If we ever get to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing is hard. So we saw this last turn that Darmanitan did outspeed. <laughs> Electivire. Yes. So does that tell us that Electivire is not speed invested? Um, it could just be that uh, Darmanitan has speed investment but isn't scarfed. Um, and one either won the speed tie because they share a speed tier, or that Electivire simply just didn't have the speed investment that, that Darmanitan had. Yeah. All right, so obviously no no Dynamax coming from Drought. Yeah, this is a spooky situation to be in. This Diamond Storm, are we expecting this to kill Darmanitan? Yes, we are We are expecting this um, to kill Darmanitan almost 100% of the time. Okay. That is a max Darmanitan. You talked about it, and it came. It didn't oh, kill. Oh, and it wouldn't have killed either. Oh, there's the defense. 
Let's boost. This is massive. Let's see oh, what happens. Oh, wow. And he lives the and steel he... spike. Oh, and, and the weakness, weakness policy. policy. Oh, my goodness. This thing is going to be hurting. Uh, uh, Diamond Storm definitely kills Darmanitan now. It's not close. Not even close. I think we all know what just happened. Trout in game three, he said, I'm three and one. I don't want to drop another game. Let me call it my boys. I'm going to turn on the hacks. <laughs> he called up Game Freak and said, hey, guys, I need a little boost this next one. Thanks. Two boosts. He said, I need two boosts because if he only got one. Then he, he doesn't he doesn't live. Uh, oh, we will see. Oh! He lived with the steel Ooh. spike. Now. And now wow. you're in trouble. Now you're oh, in big trouble. Big trouble. Big trouble. What's he got in the back? It has to be Cinderace, I would think. It's got to be Cinderace. I don't. I don't know of a single Cinderace move that's spread. This is dangerous. And Armanton has no speed on it. Now, is Diamond Storm a special or a physical move? It is a physical move, I believe. Those those defense boosts, that's yeah, what they, did it. They, they definitely saved him. Wow. Crab Bunny Bubs, it's up to you. Uh, I don't see a world where Trap Bunny Bubs lives through this turn. Uh, nope. Maybe it can protect... Try and stall out Trick Room, but you got another turn to deal with after this. A double, double protect, protect maybe gets you there. Uh, if you can, he's right. got, he's got, he's got to go a for protect. it. That is a crit. a crit. He's got to go for the double protect, but it's scary because you know that close combat's coming out and it will kill. Well, does any of this matter? Because uh, Maletta is way. faster. Maletta is faster than Cinderus. Yeah, that's true. Um, but I don't think Magmar is going to be doing a ton of damage to Cinderace. So if he, he can live a close combat, oh no, he got, he the, got double the double protect. protect. And with that, I mean, follow me and yeah, follow me is a follow me is a, is a is a monster. There's no way to win. Wow. So the Darmanitan Dynamax put this game away. That's it fascinating. E easily put it away. Boom. Boom. GG. Wow. What a set. What a game. So we got Drought and Exilus now tied on the leaderboard, both at three and two. <laughs> this is putting them right on that line of the play-ins. It's not really a great place to be. Yeah, that's a uh, hey, at least they're still in the middle of the pack. Those were some crazy games. Yo, what up? We got uh, hey, Drown. Uh, I didn't save it. I already clicked out. I got you. Uh, got any uh got any thoughts on the on the game before we ask you some questions? Nah, man. I just I just misplayed there at the end. Um, you think you should have doubled I the got, man at ten? I got really excited that I lived um, steel spike, a steel spike, and was like, "Okay, I'm gonna win the game." And just was like, "I'm gonna spam uh, my times two attack diamond storm and just get this dub," forgetting that steel spike gave him a, a defense boost and uh, just clicked too quick, and I should have doubled that darn Yeah, yeah. Um, really sucks, <laughs> but that was <laughs> really fun. Um, yeah, those, those games are really awesome. Fun. I thought those, I thought that game was like three layers deep. I was just uh, that first turn of that third game was crazy. I mean, and then there was also a chance I almost pulled it around too. So I mean, that was just a crazy game, and I had a lot of fun. So, were you expecting uh, Darmanitan to Oko? Um, so here? he hadn't shown a ground move yet. So I was just honestly taking. Uh, a chance there with him not having a ground move because I uh, actually prepared um, very special defensive this week. I had uh, a soul vest on my Electivire. 
So, yeah. what um, did you think when you didn't see Darkrai? Yeah, I mean, that's why I was thinking so hard the very first game. I was just like, dude, he's been leading Shaman Darkrai so much this season. Like, I was super prepared for that. So, uh, threw me for loot, made my leg devour so much worse. Um, yeah. Yeah, either so way, they were well really played. Um, I think one of the tells that he was running Earthquake on Darmanitan is that uh, the Meloetta lead had an air balloon. That's a good point. Um, I was think I was I, I honestly wasn't thinking that out very well because uh, I was like, why does this thing have balloon? Like, what's it? What's it? I'm not using ground move on that. But right. being that the Darmanitan using a ground move and making that free for um, start has a, is a really good turn one. So yeah, it didn't really put two and two together there. Um, I mean, was hoping I would have lived that ground move though, but I mean, Darmanitan is so strong. So. It's yeah, it's ridiculously strong. Game one, I believe. Um, let me see if I can find the move. At one point, we had not seen that Flygon had dig, and you used Tri Attack into Meloetta instead of using the Ice Beam that we later saw you have on Porygon. What was? It ended up working out, but what what was the what was the thoughts there? Um, in game one, can you can we go back to that play? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, I can uh, pull it up real let quick. Let me pull up on the replay. It was on turn three. Let me watch next turn. Okay, so I ate a Max Knuckle from the Meloetta, right? Yep. Okay. I Max Knuckled. Um, I think... I was really... I knew the... Um, I was kind of just taking a guess. I think I was I was really... I needed this Meloetta off the field, right? Okay. Um, I had no clue how much damage that Max Knuckle was going to do. I was at plus one at the time. Um, I knew it was super effective. I knew it wasn't. It, it, I thought it would get down to like twenty percent or less, and then the ice beam would kill it. And I thought that was more. Per, I thought that was more important at the time. Uh, unfortunately, it did f fucking fifty percent. <laughs> yeah. Um. And then yeah, that play looked a lot worse. Um. Now when I look back on it, but that was my thought process. And then Exilus, you see, pulled out an Iron Tail, a seventy-five percent accuracy. Yeah, um, I know. You. I, you know, I was thinking really hard. I think on that turn three or four, I was like, "This is probably going to come down to Dianti versus uh, the Flygon," and I think it's going to come down to whether it has Iron Tail or not. And I, you know, it did. So it looks like we have another battle going on. We do. Uh, yeah. Uh, either way, we... I think they were well played games. Um, and you, you, it's really hard to know that even after the weakness policy, proc, uh, Diamond Storm not killing because of the defense boost. True. Uh, that's just but tough. It's, just, it's silly just because, like, that would have ensured the victory. Yeah, it would have. Um, and, but, yeah. You know, it's hard. Would it, it have? Hindsight's... So, if he doubles the Darmanitan there, yeah, it, it definitely probably would have. Because what did he have next to the Darmanitan? Um, let's check. Meloetta. I believe Meloetta. And Meloetta, Meloetta was probably going to kill Deancey, was it not? Um, if it did, I still had Cinderace in the back. And there would been Cinderace, Porygon. Um, so he'd have to choose between one of those two, and I think either of them would have been... Yeah. Probably one, probably kill, filling a shot off the Meloetta. Right. Plus Diamond, yeah, yeah. I think you would have come out and you would have probably... It would have been closer, if yeah. nothing else. But yeah, uh, well played. And uh, yeah, good luck with the rest of the season. Yeah. Good luck, Ben. Thanks, Has Ben too. in here yet? Oh, here he is. So, Ben. What, yeah, what question, were your thoughts? Darkrai didn't come. Yeah, Darkrai really wasn't doing a whole lot for me in this matchup. He had several things that were capable of just straight up one-shotting it. And it didn't hit a whole lot of his team super hard, so... 
I thought it even would be with more useful to own... leave it behind, so he'd have to rethink his whole strategy as soon as the game started, which it sounds like worked. So was Rapid Ash there just for the memes and not really for anything useful? Well, since I didn't have to use it, I'll be keeping that a secret. Ah, Goodness gracious, okay. this guy. Rapidash was there for one very specific thing. I uh, I hope that you'll enlighten us by the end of the season. Me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, what do you think about game two? Uh, I know that, that, uh... The Iron Tail. Yeah, well, game one, yeah, that, that Iron Tail was insane. One. I can't believe I that you even so went for it. I so much faith in that Iron Tail, because I'm like, I can't yeah. play this thing otherwise. Yeah, that was a 75% accurate move. I still can't believe you went for it. And then game two, Griff... Uh, focus Blast this season, so I figured 75... Not that hard, yeah. Sure. We've had plenty of Hydro Pumps, plenty of Focus Blasts. No Okos yet. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think you played pretty well. Um, did you know? Did you know that Darmanitan would live the uh, Diamond Storm after Weakness Policy proc game three? I I expected Darmanitan to die in a fire at that point. Like I saw the Weakness Policy pop, and I'm like, well, that's the end of Darmanitan. <laughs> I was surprised that the first one didn't do half, but then when I saw the weakness policy, I'm like, that that joy was instantly gone. Yeah. And then he came uh, right back when I lived the second Diamond Storm. <laughs> he really came in clutch for you. Uh, we were talking about uh, Dynamax and Darmanitan. We assumed that Darmanitan was choice banned this week. It was. Yeah. Um, but it keeps Guerrilla Tactics in Dynamax. Is that correct? Uh, I think it acts like a choice item, so it disappears when you Dynamax, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Interesting. Interesting. Makes it an even more bold Dynamax mon. Yeah. To get rid of both the item and the ability and just say, yeah, I'm going to live with 9% and then finish you off. Because I was choiced into Earthquake, I think. Correct. And I really needed to put some damage on that Diancy. So now, what was the thoughts on Dig on Flygon? I didn't want to run Earthquake on Flygon. That's the only reason I went with Dig. Just because you didn't want to hurt your ally? Is that why? Yeah. Makes sense. Because with opening with Meloetta and Darmanitan, I figured I can earthquake some stuff before the balloon gets popped so it's safe to do but with me bringing flygon in later i'd only be hurting myself all right either way it worked out for you uh dig killed electivire with i believe 78 percent of its hp left so uh yeah good games well played Thanks. And good luck with the rest of the season. Yeah. Thank you guys for commentating. I really had fun. Yeah, I'm excited to time. go back and watch the VOD. Yeah, they were hype games. Yeah, I mean, we got very, very hype. I, we both missed the um, Deancey, um not being able to Oko because of the defense boost on Dermanitan. Yep, we we both missed that as well, so don't feel bad. Yeah, that's I, funny. No, weren't weren't y'all excited too? I was just like, I'm gonna win. Pfft, hit the oh, button. I, <laughs> I didn't even think I about all the, all the. I made a comment about you calling up and you know getting your hacks turned on. <sighs> Dude, that's. I because you didn't, I didn't call got, my I didn't call my guy before the match, man. You also got your your um. Defense proc. Yeah. Hey, to be fair, I actually did some labbing with uh, your very own Zlilius here and uh, D Skinner. Um, so when Diamond Storm hits a Mon, it's you a have 50% a to boost it's twice. It's a 50% right? to boost. Um, correct. So, you so it's both. technically 75% chance 
to proc up a defense boost if they both hit. Now, now you cannot it... you cannot get two boosts in the same turn. Right. Oh, oh, so your boost it when it, it boosts, boosts it 2x. Boosts two. Oh yeah. shit. It used to be, I believe that uh each mon had a chance to boost it and it only boosted once when it first came out, I believe. Yeah. Now, going to times 3 defense and one turn would just be uh <laughs> just c- crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 wild that you got all of that out of a mon that uh, some people have really uh, diminished its value. Oh yeah, he she, she put some she put some uh, more kills on the leaderboards this week. Y'all better watch out. Um, be tanking max steel spikes. Not tanking any uh, iron tails though, unfortunately. No iron tails, unfortunately. But yeah, I think that uh, I think that wraps up our wraps up our commentary. Thanks again for coming in for the interviews, interviews, fellas. It was a great match. Yeah, those were great games. I'll get you one day, man. He's a he's quite the rival of mine, so I'm I'm satisfied with that game, though. Good. It was it was fun. All right, uh, I guess we can move on to these next matches. But thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, no worries. It was a uh, it was fun.